Hey guys, it's Tessa from the Latte Library and I thought I would create a video about what I'm doing in isolation. Um, it is a weekend, I do have to go to work from Monday to Friday, but I am keeping myself in my house on the weekend and I thought, what a better day. Cause it's like cloudy and stuff, super nice day, like my type of day. What a great idea to just go through all my merch, clear things out, like clean up my shelves and everything because it is kind of fun at the same time. I have just counted my, <laughs> my, my current Woodmark stack. This is not all of them. I do have some at work. Just in case I want to take like a sneaky photo there or something, you know, I don't know. It's just what I do. I take things places for a photo op. But right here in this pile, I have 90 wood marks. So I'm wondering if I grab all of the ones in my backpack and at work, will it reach 100? Probably not. So I will have to, like, I just cannot not have 100. Like, I'm just, I'm so close. I feel like if I had like 102, I would, I'll be like totally fine. I have taken these off my woodmark wall. I did have them up there for a little while, but now that my photo like style is changing and everything, um, I thought I'd take them down. Also, I want to give these bad boys a bit of a break. I do blue tap them onto the wall and sometimes if I keep the door open and stuff, the wind gets to them and they kind of just like, they just get affected after a long time. So, but they're very, very good quality. None of them are like, like broken or anything. It's just, I just want to take very good care of them because they are my absolute favorites. Now I'm onto my candles. I have got, I have gotten rid of um, quite a few candles in my last haul and haul that I did. But I'm like super curious to see how much, like how many I have right now. I know I have like a, like a ton at work and I wish I had bought them home just so I know how much I have in total. But I have about, I know, I know I have about seven candles on my desk. So I'm gonna add that seven to what I currently have and go from there. And then after I might do a bit of like a shelf tour. We'll see how things go. I'm not too sure where this video is going. This is my isolation day, weekend, whatever. We should all be isolated for the health of everyone else around us. So stay tuned and let's do this. So basically I have like, I have lots of candles on my desk right now because I've been taking lots of photos of them for my, I'm doing a book book out 30 days of color challenge. So I'm like grabbing all different sorts of like candles and everything. So I've got a ton on my, on my desk. I do have some in a bag beneath my desk and then I just have some like on my shelves. So I'll go count those and get back to you and yeah. I've also got makeup on my desk, but so I've got candles here and under here, I've got one burning. I've got them here on the floor. My place is a mess right now and it's all my bowl and then candles are here and then like on my shelves here, down here and on the ground here. So for now, I'm just gonna put my wood marks over here and hope not forget about them. I'm going to put my laptop and everything on the floor. My desk is such a mess. Like a serious mess. So I'm going to have this side. I mean, I don't have that many wax melts. But this side will be for candles and this side will be for wax melts for the moment. But while I'm doing that, I'm just going to put everything else, all my other merch, on the floor, which is not good. Because my floor is messy enough as it is. I can't lose that. So much stuff. This is how much we tag I have used on my wood marks that went on my wall. At first I'm like, oh, that's not much. But I'm like, wow, that's a lot. Like it's a proper ball. Now it's stuck to my desk. So I get most of my candles now from either Spark and Sparrow, Burn the Wake Candle Co, um, Magic Sensations. I think that's it. But I used to buy a lot from Cosmic Moon, Frankly Fictional and Creative Chapters. And when they've had those, I think Frank, Frankly Fictional and Creative Chapters had a huge sale when they were closing down. So I went all out at the time. I spent a lot of money on them and I still haven't burned them all. Some because like, like Frankly Fictional have the most beautiful candles. They just had like, they were just so, so pretty. Like, let me show you. I know I've got one around here somewhere because I will not burn it because it's so pretty. And it smells amazing. So this is Feyre from Akata and it is just, like the glitter game is insane. And then you've got like the label, which I love. It's just so good. Same as with recent. This is probably one of my favorites. It's Jasmine, Bergamot, Ocean and Clove, and it smells so good.
Uh, and I do have some candles from Fictional Scents. She is based in Perth and she's reopening, which is super exciting. She did close down for a little while, but just temporarily. And I grabbed quite a few of her candles that she had. Smell amazing. Had the right amount of glitter and everything. So good. So she's bringing out a new collection. I think it's like Magical Creatures or Magical Animals something like that. Super excited for that. I'm not sure whether I'm supposed to like add wax melts to like candles if that like makes like if that's the same or not. So I'm just gonna do it separate for now. Yeah let's get straight into it and then I'm gonna like totally calculate how much I have potentially spent on these candles because yeah just a bit of a throwback when I had money to spend on merch and stuff. It's definitely a luxury. I, like a little while ago when I first started Bookstagram, and I feel like a lot of people get stuck into this safe and they just buy all the merch they possibly can and then they can afford it. And then they look back and you're like, wow, that's a lot of, a lot of stuff. And I did do, a, I did a huge unhaul of things, of books and stuff, but I should probably do another at some point. Maybe not this weekend, but maybe next month or something. But yeah, let's start counting candles. Them, like I have laid them out in piles of three. I can just show you. I'm gonna count them now. I'm pretty sure this is all I have in my house. Hopefully I can count up in threes for a while. I don't, I don't know if I can. <laughs> Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna like cheat and just count them all and then times by three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. I think it's forty-five. Now let's do some math. 45 times three equals 135. Ooh, okay, so I have 135 candles in my house right now. I have about seven at work, I think. I may have one or two in my bedroom, I'm not too sure. I just grabbed the ones that I saw in the bag and on my shelves. So that's, that's quite a collection at the moment. And I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Seven or eight wax melts. I, can't, I, I know I've got another. I don't know where it is, so. 135 candles, and that was after I did an unhaul of candles as well. So I'm like, wow, I do not want to know how many I had because that is crazy. Like, what am I doing with that many candles? So 135 candles, 90 plus wood marks. Jeez, man. Well, at least I have like plenty of, of candles to burn. And while I'm poor, I don't even have to go out and buy some because I have all these candles and wax melts. And I'm so, I'm so lucky and so fortunate that I was even able to have this many. Not that I even need this many. It is ridiculous that I have this many. But yeah. So I'm like, well, maybe I should take some photos now. I'm not too sure. But I'm like, I told myself I was going to start like cleaning up my, my shelves and everything. So I'm not even sure that maybe I should take some photos. But I don't even know how I would take a photo of like this many candles. I need better storage ideas. If you guys have any really good storage ideas, feel free to like let me know below in the comments. A fellow bookstagrammer, she put her candles on her shelves and she's like, yes, you should do that too. Like it's awesome to put it on display because like originally they were just in a couple of boxes. So I don't know. I just, I feel like I'll end up just putting them in boxes again because the, like I can't, <laughs> I cannot like physically possibly display 135 candles on my shelves. I don't have very big shelves. I just have two, just this one and this one. I'm not too sure, but I'll have to have a think about it and get back to you guys. So I've just found another three candles. So that brings my total to 138. I did just have a look at my bookish mugs. I have a cupboard full of like the only mugs I own are bookish. I'll give you a quick look at those. So here's my bookish mugs. I did a huge giveaway a little while ago and got rid of some. But I've got like brighter ones, um, Harry Potter one, Gets a Cronk, made it in the Spark and Spirit box, a Bookstagram mug, which is my ultimate favorite, Manon, Slytherin, this one up here I got in a book box. 
I just have like all this merch and I'm just not like, I mean, besides like how many bookish mugs can I, can I use? Crazy, all this stuff. But it's good because then I can do a real clean out. I have started to get a bit more of a collection of enamel pins and scratchies, kind of like by accident. I normally get those in book boxes or main deck of the month. That's only like enamel pin I actually go for because I mean, look how cute this is. How could you, like, how could you not get this? It's like the cutest thing ever. And I'm so excited for April's theme. Ooh, yeah, I would definitely say I have a lot more merch than I do books, but I do read a lot by audiobook and Kindle. But I have a lot of pinning up to do. <laughs> like, this place is like, it's like a cyclone swept through here. It is crazy. And now I have to clean it all up, which just totally needs to happen. I just didn't think that there would be this much. But it's cool. I'll be taking some photos for Bookstagram and cleaning up at the same time. So, and throwing things out because I cannot keep all this stuff. I, it's not that I've even been getting so much more things because I know for a fact, like my bank can back me up. I have been buying a lot less bookish stuff this year. I do rep for a couple of companies and that's probably where I do get things. But I, I've, I've probably spent money in the companies I rep for, but I haven't like been blowing my money on like anything major really. Same as books. I mean, I did a little bit when I went to New York, but other than that, I've just been using um, I have Audible, um, a subscription for Audible and Kindle and Kindle Unlimited. So I just don't, I just I haven't been spending as much money as I normally would. Day true and take some photos. It's good, right? Because now that I've like unpacked all of these candles, I can like take some like rep photos. I can take some really cool candle photos, which I haven't um, been able to take because I've just been, I don't know, they've just been out of sight, out of mind. But yeah, so I will check in with y'all a little bit. Okay, so I've just taken some photos of candles and woodmark and just a few randoms for bookstagram. So now I'm actually cleaning up. Ooh, I am like working up a sweat. This is like hard work. Um, I have started, I don't know if you can see, so I've started putting candles <laughs> basically wherever they fit right now. I haven't actually been able to decide what I'm doing with my candles or how I want to display them. I did think about putting them just in a box. However, I can't find my box right now and um, I will need to take some more photos. Probably later on in the week. I do take photos about maybe like two to three times a week. I always have extras, but I just like to have new photos. I mean, it's just something about it, and I really enjoy taking those photos, but I'm worried that I'm not gonna have enough room for all of this stuff. And normally I have my like, items, like my merch that I photograph, often in this little crate. However, I do wanna mix up the merch I use because it does get a little bit repetitive. So I'm keeping everything out. I'm basically going through that box and just not going to use it for that reason anymore. I don't know what I'll put in there, maybe a couple of candles or something, or sticker sheets, um, or hand cream, or perfumes, or soaps, or whatever there's so many like different types of like um bookish merch it's it's crazy really good though that's crazy so i'm sort of working on my timber colored shelf at the moment i will get to this white one in a little bit white one is more like my shelf of my favorites except for at the top of my wooden shelf is my tomorrow pierce collection my prize tomorrow pierce collection I have 35 books and a lot of them are different editions which I'm super proud of and they were hard to, like some of them were hard to get I even have a signed set which is awesome and yeah so basically my goal right now is to just pile the candles on my shelves and see how I go good luck to me spending like what feels like hours on all of this. I have got most things in this, but I'm not necessarily happy with it, but I'm happy for now because it kind of gives me some time to not have to work on it for a little while. Although there are a few like weird things to it, but I'll show you what I've done. The sun's out and that sucks. But this is like, yeah, I have literally like littered candles <laughs> all across my shelves. So this is my Tomorrow Peas shelf and there are just candles everywhere. And then down here, all candles, just everywhere. So I've got one bookish mug. It says hashtag bookstagram and that's my favorite color. And just candles everywhere for now until I burn some more and then I'll throw them out, which is always a hard thing to do. It needs to happen. So then I've got some red candles. This is where it gets really messy. Like 
I have literally just piled candles wherever I could. Back there, little pyramid, here, and then more just this like random dude just chilling here. This is like a random shelf. I haven't really put much effort into this shelf. I've even got books like stacked up like this, just to create more room. Can like just three candles there. This shelf here looks like an absolute mess, but I have literally let like, that is like a balancing act. I don't even know how that's going to stay there. Or if it if it will, I wouldn't be surprised if it just fell down. And then up. Some more candles everywhere. This shelf here, I had it kind of nice before, but it's kind of just where I've just put random stuff. Um, these are my writing books that I use religiously. Mandrake for the month boxes, the book book owl, um, bookmark, which I actually really love. Where we have another mug with more wood marks. I got this mug from Society6. I used to shop a lot on Society6 and get lots of the mugs. This is Farah, my interpretation of her. Let me come up here. I've only got two book sleeves here at the moment, and I will be adding more. I think I've got like two others laying around, two or three others. This is that box. It's just filled with Mandrake of the Month pins, so I can grab them that easy. Stickers, and then just some Levi Dugo stuff. And then Big Old Crescent City up here, because it will not fit on my Sarah J Mass thing. I still have like my wax melts. Like, I don't really know where to put them. I'll probably just end up just chucking them somewhere. Like, just on a shelf for now probably but yeah that is my what would you call it like merch clean up shelf clean up tour thing i don't know but if you made it this far thanks for watching and i will see you in my next video stay isolated stay safe and if you go if you start going insane just dm me or something on instagram because i'm always here for a chat thank you again for watching and i will see you in my next video see ya